It is budget day in Quebec. The CAQ government tabled its second budget at 4 p.m. today. And here's what it means for your wallet. C'est avec une grande fierté que je présente aujourd'hui le deuxième budget du gouvernement de la coalition Avenir Québec. It's a balanced budget that focuses on more money for infrastructure and fighting climate change, pushing public transit and electric cars. But it doesn't take the coronavirus into account. Quebec Finance Minister Éric Girard saying Quebec's strong economic health can handle any economic emergency. Quebec's strong public finances and economic fundamentals will make it resilient to the economic uncertainties. Overall spending is up by 5%. With $6.7 billion allocated over six years, the CAQ government is doubling its investment to fight climate change. But only $322 million will be spent in 2020, which critics say shows a lack of commitment. Well, I think we're satisfied in the sense that we are putting more money towards it than we were before this budget. So in that sense, it's a good news. But obviously, if we could put more more money right now and keep this investment going, we would be even happier with the budget than what we are now. The CAQ is investing $15.8 million in public transit. That won't be for Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante's desired pink line, but there will be money for the REM and the Metro's yellow line. They're also keeping subsidies for buying electric cars. There's an extra $15.1 billion over 10 years for Quebec's crumbling infrastructure. The biggest spending is in health and education. Education expenses are up 4.5 percent. More funds to build pre-K classes, create daycare spaces and helping students with special needs. Total health spending is up 5.3 percent. There's 532.2 million more for a tax credit refund for caregivers. It's a steady budget with no big tax breaks or increases. But the CAQ is continuing to move to standardized school taxes with some homeowners seeing a drop of 2 percent. There's also a $6.1 million a year over five years investment benefiting the Anglo community. Quebec Liberals in opposition argued the budget lacked planning amid the coronavirus outbreak and suggested another mini-budget could be tabled. This one was likely written before stock prices dropped drastically on Monday because of COVID-19. 